Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> so I have had a crazy loss of weight in the last two weeks. Yeah. Started out in January, I was at a high of 104. Bro. And then I lost weight for the last, since January, I got down to 94, but I got stuck there. And I was miserable because I just was eating little and had no energy. But last week, I started a new diet. And I've lost four kilo in one week. Yippee. So what's what am I doing now? In one week, what am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> well, I mean, I've, I've already started trying to not eat unless it's after 8 a.m. or before 5. And I'm really making sure of that now. But now, I'm, every other day, I'm eating fat and protein. And every other day, I'm just eating lean protein with no carbohydrates at all. And it's working. Today was my fat day, and I weigh exactly the same now as I did when I woke up. And I ate three hard-boiled eggs, I ate a tuna, I ate a big salad, I ate two pieces of cheese, and three milk cartons. So I was full all day, and my fat, my fat fighting in, fight biting enzymes in my body are fighting the fat that I just ate today, plus the rest of the fat, the fat that's still inside me. So I'm full, and I. My body doesn't think I'm starving. Now tomorrow I'll go lean. So I'm messing with my body and it's working. So I found something similar to this on the internet and I kind of made it my own because it's simple. I'm just jacking my body back and forth and it's working. I feel good. I lost four kilos in what, one week? Mm-hmm. It's been one week. It's crazy. I'm under 200 pounds now for the first time in years. And I feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. No more knee pain? No. I, my knee's pain. <laughs> I got a pack for, for trying to sprint a few days ago, but I keep doing that. Hopefully that'll go less and less, though. I'll just run slower today. Mm-hmm. I've also been doing about a four mile hike every day at work. I take a break and I won't do a hike. Uh, that's probably about this too. That's all. So you're working two jobs. I barely see you anymore. Mm-hmm. Crazy hard worker. I liked your video you posted about the Namibia ICT today. They're that kind of combines what we both do, contact centers and Ministry of Health to try to fight COVID in, um, in Namibia. So hopefully Jeremiah and I can, can help them somehow. Let's see. Let's see. I was going to go metal detecting tonight, but you reminded me that where, where I was going to do it, there'd be a lot of people, so I can't. Darn it. You can check. I think you're right, it'd be too full. We need to go when there's no cars there where I'm going. Because the cars will be in the way. Right? Yeah. We'll see. I think I have to find things there. We can just go for a few minutes if you're up for it. Give it a try. Get out my old Garrett 150.
So I only did 10 at about quarter speed because my calf injury, my calf pull is bad. I did nothing. <laughs> calf pulls. Calf or hammy? This one has a joint pain now though. Ow. Buy it all you see. Thank you. I got the inkers to sell. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to me two days ago when I was here. I only got two because <laughs> he was watching me. <sighs> okay, I'm done. Your body's sleeping. Your eyes grew dark and your eyes grew heavy. You had to stop for the night. Go tell us then. Cut down. <laughs> <laughs> All the way down. That's all. It was pathetic. My first step and my whole calf was too severe for me to even run. Oops. So I did only 10 by 100 at quarter speed. And at it's least, killing me now. At least you did something. Yeah, but I just don't know why I keep getting these me, calf It's pulls. been a long time, one week, and my body's so heavy now. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you work two jobs. Yeah. yeah, it's Very different. Very proud of you, you're a hard worker. My body's so weak. You need to rest. You haven't got any yeah. rest all week. Uh -huh. So that's all, bye-bye.